Guys, Meta has finally dropped the Navigator. That's right, a new way to navigate the UI inside your Quest. Let's take a look at it. This is the Navigator. It's always here to help you find what you need, like your apps and more. Scroll up and down using the thumbstick on your controller to see all the apps in your library. To experience full immersion, select the highlighted app. Use the trigger on your controller to select. Look around at your stunning surroundings. This is just the beginning of all you'll be able to explore. When you're ready to switch to something else or quit an app, press the meta button to show the navigator again. To quit an app, select quit at the bottom of the navigator. You'll also be able to just select the next place you want to visit. Some apps open in windows that you can customize to watch and work how you want. Select the highlighted app to see it open in a window. Use the controls below each window to adjust what you see. Practice now by trying out theater view. Watch your favorite shows, live events, and more on a large screen, just like your own home theater. When you're ready, close theater view. You can show or hide all your windows anytime. Select hide windows to hide this one now. Your windows are now hidden. To show them again, first press the meta button to open the navigator. Then, select Show Windows to see all your hidden windows again. When you want to close a window, select Close from the controls below the window. Well done! Now you know how to find your way around with the navigator. Alright, so let's just take a look at this hands-on. That was the tutorial. You can see there's nothing here in front of me. If I open the navigator, here we are. One thing I want to point out here is that there are little pins under the first four apps here. And you can see there's a lot of apps that you might end up having on this page. So you might not want to scroll if there's something you always use when you open your quest, like virtual desktop, for example, just pin that pops up to the top. Looks like there's five. I wonder how many we can pin. Let's pin another one. Looks like you can pin as many as you want to get up here above the fold. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to unpin those. So that's a nice option. So you don't always have to scroll there. But the biggest thing that I really love is that they've separated the world's from your app. So now you can scroll all the way through these apps. These are just the apps you've downloaded. And then we have worlds. So you know exactly where these come from. I see this on social all the time. People wonder where these came from and why they're in their library. Now you know, they're labeled over here on the left. As well as Horizon Plus, which is pretty cool. You know which games that you've taken advantage of and downloaded from Horizon Plus. Fantastic. Downloads, of course, if you just recently downloaded something, you're wondering where it went, you can just hop in here and start something. So this is the Navigator. It's a lot cleaner. The kind of purplish aura around it looks pretty cool. I will say it looks less invasive in headset than it does in this recording. In this recording, it kind of has a sharp edge around it. You don't really notice it because it wraps around your head a lot. So let's hop back in here. I like the look of it. So if you have windows open, like the tutorial just showed us, you can hide those windows and now they're gone. I'm curious what this functions for. I'm excited that it might be for using your headset while it's on. Maybe in a future headset, the pass through is much clearer and you'll be able to like do things in real life and switch back and forth between what you see in headset. 
But it's interesting that there's a function here just to hide everything. So you can hide your windows, you see nothing, you can use your hands, you still have your pointers. Don't know what you might be pointing at, but you have your pointers and you can bring that back up. So one difference is, is with the controller is you can bring that navigation bar up even when there's no windows. I can't do that with my hand. Hey, editing Jason here. Sorry, I was wrong right there. You can double pinch with your fingers if you don't have the expanded menu turned on. So you wanna to go to your settings and turn that off if you wanna be able to turn the navigator on and off with just a pinch. My bad. But you can see here, I can bring that navigation bar up and just move it around and have it ready. So that's why I say, I think this is something that's going to be used in the future where wearing something is a little bit more common, maybe in a pair of glasses, I'm not sure. You can just pull up this navigator and start using things. So let's say if you had like your web browser open and I don't know, shop, and you're doing things in this and then you just wanted to hide them temporarily just so you could see what's in front of you, but then also you wanted to bring them back very quickly. So it's, it's kind of nice. I, I like, I like the functionality there. I'm, I'm not sure everybody's gonna pick up on that though. A, a couple other things that I wanna point out here that's really neat. So there's a camera icon here. So I'm recording right now and you won't be able to see what comes up after that, but this camera icon pops up a little floating icon that allows you to take the recording controls with you. It's pretty neat. Um, yeah, you won't be able to see that, but it's pretty neat. It helps you keep the controls nearby if you want to start or stop recording. So for content creators out there who are creating things with their quest, it's pretty neat. This was an interesting thing. Environment options, right? I'm not sure why it says environment options. It gives you the option, obviously, to turn off pass through and then turn it back on. But why not have this button just as a straight toggle? That's interesting i'm wondering if there are going to be other environment options other than just turn on off for pass through makes you wonder and then there's quick controls this is very similar to what we have today all the same things are here these are kind of smaller if you hover over them you can see the description there's no text on these shortcuts anymore but it's nice i mean it fits into this new look So whenever you hit a button that pops up one of these windows, all three of them come back. So if you go into this part of the UI, any windows you have open pop up. You saw when I just opened my profile, everything popped up here. I like the icons for minimizing. Wait, let me open a few more up again. So if I have um, Horizon Feed, Shop, people, it's only three at a time, but if you minimize, you can minimize all four, kind of carry those with you. You know, open one when you need it, close it. So I like this. I like that they're polishing the UI and kind of giving you a little more to work with when you're not inside of an app. I'm really excited about that. So even if I were to, you know what, let's try this. Let's open up um, Windows, right? So if you were using, you're using your remote PC. So if, so you can see the vision, right? Like if I am using my PC and I also have additional windows from inside the Quest here, this is nice. I, I can do like more than one thing at a time. I can minimize windows from Quest. I can see where they've gone and I can work on this PC. I can even minimize the PC, have the PC, the remote desktop session down in this taskbar as well. So it's really leaning into some spatial computing functionality here. I like it. So if I'm, if I'm inside the navigator, this is interesting. So if I hit show windows there, Oh, they stay minimized. So you do have to maximize all the windows. They'll just stay like that no matter what. 
So if I have one of them maximized, I go to Navigator. You can see it's still back there behind the Navigator. You go back here and these stay minimized and the one that you're working on stays big there. Cool. So honestly, whether you like it or not, I think it was overdue. I think the Quest UI has been needing an update for quite some time now. I like it. I mean, it's more fun to move around in and it's pretty. What else can I say? We'll see you here next time in The Construct. Peace.